Okay, this is 2.3 practice. Uh, the first couple of questions here just tell you to estimate what R is, okay? So this is pretty scattered, so it's pretty close to zero, maybe a slight positive. Um, so we'll say maybe 0.1, let's say, okay? Number two has a fairly negative, I mean, it's kind of negative slope, but still very scattered, so not very strong. So we'll go negative 0.1. Two maybe because it's a little bit stronger than that one. Number three, this one also has a negative slope, so I know it's going to be negative, and it's a little bit stronger, so I'd say maybe negative point six. Let's say so you're just kind of estimating. You don't have to have those exact numbers. Number four, once again we're estimating that that has a positive slope, so we're going to have a positive correlation. And it's even even better than this other one. So I'm going to say maybe 0.8 or 0.9. Okay, so we have looking at correlation there. Number five, there's a linear relationship between number of turnovers and the number of points scored, okay, in the 13-14. And it has a correlation of 0.92. So as more people, there's more turnovers, there's also more points, okay? Probably has to do with playing time, right? The more more you play, more turnovers you're going to have and the more points you're going to have. Okay, but anyway, let's interpret this 0.92. Okay, what does that mean? It means that the, the correlation between turnovers and points scored is positive and strong. Okay, so it's always good to include context uh, between turnovers and points scored. It gives you an idea of what you're talking about there. Okay, uh, the next one is this one here. So there's a roughly linear relationship between the latitude of major American cities and the average temperature in July. Okay, so there are 12 cities, uh, the latitude of those cities, and then their temperature. Okay, um, so uh, it gives you a correlation of negative 0.55. So that says that it's a negative and that it's uh, moderate. Okay. We can say there is, if we phrase it a little bit different than the first one, a moderate positive correlation between latitude and average temperature in July. Okay. Uh, the next one is the one right after this. Um, nature's Patterns connects the percent of adult birds in a colony that return from a previous year and the number of new adults that join the colony. Um, so this is the 13 colonies of sparrow hawks, uh, and they record a linear relationship here and at negative 0.75. So that means as the percent returning increases, there's less people that join. So it kind of stays at kind of a constant number, right? So if there's more people leaving, less percent, there's more people to coming. And if there's more people returning, or not people, these are birds, but if there's more birds returning, there'd be less birds that are joining that colony, okay? So if we want to interpret that, we can say there is, and that seems uh, moderate, And it's negative correlation between percent returning and new adults. Okay. Next one, GPA linked to pencils. For their final statistics project, Jordan and Angie surveyed a random sample of 50 students at their school. Each student 
in the sample reported his or her GPA and the number of pencils in his or her, her possession at the moment. So is there a correlation between those two? Okay, so if you think about this, what they're doing here is they're looking at GPA and the number of pencils. Okay, if you think about what would that look like? Um, do you think if the high GPA is higher, there'd be more pencils or less pencils or, okay. So it says here that the correlation was negative 0.23. Does the negative association suggest that carrying fewer pencils will increase a student's GPA? Okay. So there might be the negative 0.23 means it's pretty scattered, but it is a negative relationship. But does this mean that carrying fewer pencils will increase your GPA? Okay. So is there a cause and effect relationship there? If I start carrying more, more pencils, what's going to, is my GPA going to change because of that? No. Okay. So there is no causation between the two variables. Okay. There is an association, even though it's weak, but it is, it's not a very good one. Okay. Uh, the next one, they looked at uh, specializes in divorce. They, uh, there was a linear relationship of years of courtship, mean dating before marriage, and the number of years the couple stay married. Okay, so if you think about the graph here, um, how long people date, and how um, how the divorce rates. Okay, and they had a correlation of 0.76. So it's a positive correlation, so meaning the more the longer that people have dated, because uh, this is number of sorry, number of years they've been married. So the longer that they date, the longer they stay married is what this is saying. Okay, does this suggest that waiting a few years before getting married will make your marriage last longer? Okay, um, it could. Okay, there's a there's there's a relationship between that, right? If you date longer, you might get to know the person more, and therefore maybe stay married longer. But I can't say that just because of that one reason. So we can say no, just be causation is not proven. Okay, or there's no causation between the two variables. Um, there's a lot of other factors that go into that as well. Okay, and the last one here, refer to the one we did earlier. Would it suggest that an increase in turnovers will cause NBA players to score more points? Okay, so in looking at this graph, we had the more turnovers they had, the more points they scored, right? So that means if I go out and play an NBA game, I should just turn the ball over every time, and that means I'm going to score more, right? Okay, because if I that the turnovers cause the number of points, no. Okay, once again, this does not cause that. There's a there's a relationship between them, right? There's there's an association between them, but the, this does not cause that. It has to do more with playing time. The more somebody plays, the more likely they are to turn over and to, and to score more points. Okay, so once again, there is no causation between the variables. Okay, and that is the homework.